My name is Julie Jester. I am going to be a junior in electrical engineering here at Caltech. And my surf project is trying to make a retinal prosthesis that takes a camera input and then does some image processing and transmits it wirelessly to an internal uh, prosthesis. The design of the project is to have the camera mounted on a pair of glasses uh, and then any processing will be on small chips on the glasses and then from that it will wirelessly transmit into the prosthesis. My project should hopefully uh, take the camera and hook it up to a project board and then eventually we'd like to get it hooked up to a monitor so that we can see the image and how it's being processed and see exactly what is being output to the implant. We do have uh, the camera that I'm testing with. Um, it's much bulkier obviously than the, the later camera but it's similar and mounted on a nice chip for us. I literally got the camera like two days ago. So this is the development board that I'm using. Uh, over here is the camera, which plugs in onto the board, and so they sell these commercially. It's programmed via USB and some software. So the camera takes in the image and sends it to the monitor, and ideally a lower resolution version of this image would be sent to the eye. So right now, it's just a, a colored grid uh, to show the, where each pixel will be for the low resolution image. Since last time, I have worked to get the low resolution mode working. So you can see the regular image here, and then uh, it can be flipped to a low resolution image that takes all of the pixels in the area of um, of the low of the high resolution image and averages them into one pixel. So this is the resolution you would see which is uh, 32 by uh, 20 pixels, um, so much less than a regular monitor, but still reasonably good for being able to walk around and function normally. Uh, the actual image that the person would see would be in black and white. The prosthesis hasn't been developed to add color yet, so this would just be black and white. For this week, I've changed the resolution to 16 by 20 to reflect the number of stimulators we have on the prosthesis. It's easy to distinguish a face, it's easy to notice movement, but the patient would only see in grayscale. Before, it was on 10-bit grayscale, so there were many more different colors of gray. Now it's on 4-bit grayscale to give us a total of 16 different grays, which is the range of colors that we know that a patient could likely see right now. This low resolution still allows the patient to read text if it is large. So here we have letters A, B, C in 36 point font, uh, fairly close to the camera. So normally you'd be able to just see this, but the patient would still be able to read even at the lower resolution. 